Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft recently re-established communication with Earth using a backup radio transmitter that had been dormant since 1981. Remarkably, this spacecraft, currently the most distant human-made object from Earth, was able to make contact after decades of silence from its backup system. In this video, we will explore the journey of Voyager 1, discuss the importance of this unexpected reconnection, and uncover the valuable lessons it offers for future space missions. In October 2024, NASA's Voyager 1 faced a significant communication issue that put its remarkable durability to the test. On October 16th, engineers sent a routine command to activate one of the spacecraft's heaters. The purpose of this was to maintain optimal temperatures for certain instruments on board, which is a regular procedure to ensure their continued functionality in the harsh conditions of space. However, this seemingly simple command had an unintended consequence. It triggered Voyager 1's fault protection system. This system, which was designed to safeguard the spacecraft from potential malfunctions, immediately initiated a series of protective measures. In response, the fault protection system shut down Voyager 1, its primary X-band radio transmitter, which had served as the spacecraft's primary communication link with Earth for decades. The loss of this critical communication channel was a major concern, as it left NASA with a spacecraft 15 billion miles away from Earth with no direct means of receiving or sending commands in the usual manner. To mitigate the situation, Voyager 1's fault protection system quickly switched to a secondary communication system, the S-band transmitter, which had not been in use since 1981. The S-band operates at a much lower frequency than the X-band and produces a weaker signal, which poses a substantial challenge given Voyager's extreme distance from Earth. At that distance, even under the best conditions, signals take nearly 23 hours to travel one way, meaning that every command sent and every response received came with a significant delay. The situation required a careful and measured response. The Deep Space Network, a globally distributed network of large radio antennas used by NASA to communicate with distant spacecraft, was immediately tasked with adapting to the new communication requirements. The DSN's antennas were reconfigured to detect the faint S-band signal, a process that demanded precise adjustments. Engineers had to proceed cautiously, mindful that sending additional commands could trigger further fault protection responses that might complicate efforts to restore communication. This was a delicate balancing act, as each adjustment took hours to be confirmed due to the light speed delay in communication. After several days of painstaking work, engineers were able to successfully restore contact with Voyager 1 on October 24, 2024. With communication re-established, the spacecraft was once again able to resume its scientific mission, continuing to explore the uncharted regions of interstellar space. This achievement was a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance of NASA's team and the resilience of Voyager 1 itself, which has now been operating far beyond its expected lifespan. Voyager 1's mission began on September 5, 1977, when it was launched with the ambitious goal of exploring the outer planets of our solar system, an endeavor that no spacecraft had ever undertaken before. Initially, its primary mission was to study Jupiter and Saturn, but it far exceeded expectations, capturing groundbreaking data and images that would change our understanding of the solar system forever. In March 1979, Voyager 1 made its closest approach to Jupiter. The spacecraft's images unveiled the gas giant's swirling storms, complex atmosphere, and faint rings, providing humanity's first detailed view of Jupiter. But the discoveries didn't end there. Voyager 1 also captured volcanic activity on Io, one of Jupiter's moons, marking the first observation of active volcanoes beyond Earth. This unexpected finding demonstrated that moons in our solar system could be geologically active, reshaping scientists' understanding of volcanic processes. Following its Jupiter mission, Voyager 1 continued on to Saturn, making its closest approach in November 1980. The spacecraft captured incredible details of Saturn's rings and newly discovered moons, revealing a faint new ring, the G-ring, and helping scientists understand the structure of Saturn's rings and the gravitational forces that shape them. However, Voyager 1's journey didn't conclude with Saturn. After completing its planetary explorations, it continued on a trajectory that would eventually carry it beyond the solar system. In August 2012, it crossed the heliopause, the point where the sun's influence ends, becoming the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. 
This achievement marks one of humanity's most extraordinary milestones, pushing the boundaries of our exploration into the cosmos. The activation of Voyager 1's backup transmitter offers several important lessons and insights for future space missions. First, it highlights the crucial role of redundant systems and fault protection mechanisms in spacecraft design. The spacecraft's ability to switch to a backup transmitter after more than 40 years demonstrates the value of such redundancies, particularly for deep space missions well beyond human reach. Power management is also vital for long-duration missions. As Voyager 1's limited power supply gradually diminishes, NASA engineers have regularly deactivated non-essential systems and concentrated on key instruments for data collection. This strategy offers valuable guidance for future missions in low-energy environments such as the outer solar system or interstellar space, emphasizing the need to conserve power to maintain operations over extended periods. Additionally, the harsh conditions of space, such as cosmic radiation and extreme temperatures, can gradually degrade equipment. Nevertheless, Voyager 1's instruments and systems have continued to function, providing crucial data for decades. It has also demonstrated remarkable autonomy in deep space. Since passing Saturn, it has operated largely independently due to the long communication delay. Its ability to detect problems and make adjustments without relying on commands from Earth is essential for missions in distant regions where real-time control is not feasible. Furthermore, its ongoing data collection from interstellar space has enabled scientists to obtain their first direct measurements of the interstellar medium, including data on cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and particle densities. Ultimately, this mission extends its impact far beyond just the scientific community. Voyager 1's resilience and longevity have motivated countless scientists, engineers, and dreamers, proving that space exploration is driven not only by the quest for data, but by humanity's innate curiosity and ambition. Voyager 1 embodies the human spirit to push past familiar boundaries, explore the unknown, and break through limitations. Its legacy will continue to inspire future generations to gaze at the stars, dream big, and seek out the mysteries that lie beyond our solar system. We appreciate you joining us on this incredible journey through the story of Voyager 1. Its enduring resilience and adaptability serve as a powerful reminder of the boundless opportunities in space exploration and the persistent spirit of discovery. As we look ahead to future missions, Voyager 1's legacy will keep inspiring and guiding us as we move deeper into the cosmos. And that's it. Thank you for joining us here at Spaceverse, where we continue to explore the wonders of the cosmos. Voyager 1 is incredible journey reminds us of the limitless possibilities in space exploration and the human spirit of discovery. Stay tuned for more fascinating stories as we venture further into the stars. Until next time, keep reaching for the unknown.